That's what's going on. This is Andrew here today, and we're going to be showcasing some pickups that I got from Goodwill while I was on vacation. Yes, I was actually on vacation for five days. You guys didn't notice because I actually had all of my videos scheduled to upload on specific days. So luckily I didn't have to do any recording or editing while I was there, which is good news because I got to give myself a little bit of a break from not only uh, making videos, but also going to work. So I had a pretty decent break. Uh, in this video, we're going to be covering not only we got some movies that I picked up on VHS, we got some music stuff, uh, video games, and some tech pickups as well. So this is actually going to be a decently sized video showing everything that I got. So let's get directly into this, starting off with really the main reason you guys are here, video games. Before I show those games, I'm just going to mention to you guys that I actually got my Wii back that I let my friend borrow like five years ago. So basically what happened was he got GameCube games for his birthday, a GameCube controller, some memory cards, and then his brother ended up breaking the Wii that they had, so he couldn't play his game, so I gave him mine to borrow until I fixed his Wii. I never ended up fixing his Wii. He was going to give me this thing back like two years ago. What ended up happening was his sister didn't know that uh, this was my Wii, and she took it with her to college. And yeah, so I didn't have my hands on this Wii for about five years. He finally gave it back to me. Uh, a few days ago while I was on vacation, my brother picked it up from him, and now I have it back. This is going to be in this room with uh, all of my Guitar Hero consoles, that I like to call it, because I have my main room, which is back there behind that door with all the main consoles, and then in this area next to my PC, I have my game consoles, which I have for my Guitar Hero setup, slash anything that I want to record while I'm sitting here. So that's that little update. Let's actually look at the games that I got. I just felt like throwing this in there. I actually stopped at two Goodwills, so... We stopped at the first one that was closer to us, and then after we went roller skating, we went grocery shopping, and there happened to be another Goodwill right there, so I stopped in that one after. The first one that I went to, it was mainly tech uh, that I got there. I only got one game, and that first game that I got there was FIFA 14 for the PS3, because there were no other games that were there. I figured since I was going there, and I really wasn't buying anything, that I would just pick up a simple PS3 game that was there, the only game that they had, and I don't really see myself playing this much. I kind of just edited it to the collection, but I do like playing older soccer games, so it is pretty cool to have this uh, for the PS3. I'm almost positive this also came to PS4. I could be wrong about that, though, but uh, regardless, I felt like it was just something I should pick up, so I did, and that's the only game that I got from that Goodwill. The games that I got were from the other Goodwill, and that was Just Dance 3 and Just Dance 4, so... I don't know if I played either of these when I was younger. I probably played Just Dance 2, but I don't remember playing these at all. The reason I got these is because my girlfriend likes the Just Dance games, and she used to play them when she was younger, so I figured this could be something we can do together. Plus, my sister's pretty young, and I would love her to try something like this, considering she likes all that pop music stuff. I'm not really a pop music guy, but I did have fun playing these when I was younger, so uh, we definitely love to get into these as soon as possible. This is going to be something that me and my girlfriend can do together, so... Other than that, um, I got a few other games, and the rest are on the Xbox 360. Uh, this one is SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, a game that I played with my friends way back then, uh, probably in like 2011, 2012. We played this game all the time. I'm not like a major, major WWE guy, but I do have fun playing the video games and watching it whenever it would be on when someone's watching it. I never really sat down and got into WWE, but... Honestly, uh, this game was really fun when I played it back then, and the only other WWE games I played were some of the newer ones. I think I have 2016 on the PS4, and uh, I have a few other ones thanks to them being free with Xbox Live at some point, but yeah, this is one of my favorite ones I ever played. I definitely want to mess around with this again. Uh, the next time I hang out with one of my friends I used to play this with, we definitely got to play this again. So yeah, that's SmackDown vs. Raw. Uh, let's look at some more games. Next up, we have Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, a game that I used to play actually all the time, but haven't played in a very long time. I think I ended up selling my second copy somewhere. I don't really know exactly what happened to it, because I know for a fact that I had this game. I just can't find it anywhere. I was happy to actually find this one there, because this was only like 6 bucks, and it's a pretty high-quality game. It's one of my favorite Star Wars games of all time. Personally, I prefer the first uh, Force Unleashed game, but for Force Unleashed 2 is really good. To be quite honest with you guys, I'm probably not going to play the 360 version that much. I'm much more into these games on PC, considering the higher frame rate option you can do uh, when messing with the settings. But 
this was a very good game for its time. A lot of people will say that it was kind of shitty compared to the first one, but I really did enjoy it quite a lot. I wish they would make a Force Unleashed 3. They're definitely not going to, but I definitely wish that they did. So, yeah, I mean, I'll probably play this game pretty soon. I know for a fact the disc is in there. No manual, but still, I mean, I got it at a Goodwill, so that's pretty cool. Next up, uh, another 360 game, uh, actually a 360 exclusive game. This one is Forza Motorsport 4. I'm looking to probably collect the rest of the Forza games just because I'm starting to get into these kind of racing games. I never was a major racing game guy in the past, but uh, I have been enjoying them a lot more lately. And specifically the older ones, actually, like the first Forza, uh, some of the older Burnout games. I would love them to make a remastered Burnout 3. That would be fun. But yeah, I would definitely love to start playing this game pretty soon. i uh, never played this before, and I have a Kinect as well, so let's see... Uh, what it means by it says that it's better with the Kinect sensor. I um, guess I'll be doing that pretty soon and testing that for myself. All right. Last game that I got when I was at that Goodwill was Battlefield 4. So it's funny because this is actually like my third or fourth time getting this game. And it's not my first time getting this on the Xbox 360. Basically, story was it was Christmas of like 2013 when the Xbox One came out. I got my own Xbox 360 because I wanted one for myself because I was sharing one with my brothers and my dad for the longest time. So I asked my mom for it for Christmas. Uh, she came home well, with it and on Christmas morning, I opened it and it was a four gigabyte console. And well, this requires a certain amount of disk space and it requires an actual hard drive to play it. Uh, you can't play this off of a flash drive. What I didn't know at the time was that you can get a hard drive and place it in the 360 because the 360 just came with four gigabytes of that flash storage and you could have easily just gotten like a 250 gigabyte hard drive and placed it in there. Didn't know that at the time. I got my flash drive when I was on vacation, brought it home, tried to play this game. It didn't work. I gave this game to my friend and didn't play a Battlefield 4 for like seven years until I recently got it on my Xbox One. So got this just because I saw it was there and it was one of the games I don't have on my 360 and one that I definitely regretted giving away to my friend because I actually gave this game away to my friend on his birthday uh, as a birthday present and he ended up breaking the disc within like two weeks and then getting another copy. But yeah, uh, that's basically the story with that. Um, I'm more than likely going to be playing this game on the Xbox One, but if I ever feel nostalgic and want to jump back on the 360 again, I'm probably going to play the 360 version of Battlefield 4 the way I should have when I first got my Xbox 360. So that's it with the games, guys. Let's start looking at the tech stuff. All right, guys. So all the movie stuff that I got were VHS. I didn't get anything DVD related because I'm starting to actually collect VHS tapes as time goes on. I already have uh, Star Wars... Uh, a New Hope, and that's the only one I have so far, but now I have more uh, added to that collection, and I really want to collect even more uh, down the line, so first one I got, Air Force One, don't know anything about this movie, I just saw that Harrison Ford was on the front, and considering, you know, I'm a Star Wars guy, and an Indiana Jones guy, I figured this would be a cool one to get, so yeah, I mean, very excited to watch this movie, because anything that I've seen Harrison Ford in has been pretty high quality, would love to see this, uh, just to see how it is. Next movie I got was Airplane. Uh, it's a pretty funny movie. I haven't seen this one in a very long time. Saw this with my parents way back then. I don't remember exactly where we watched it or how we watched it, but they showed it to us uh, when I was like a teenager. I think 13 or 14. I'm 20 now, so it's been a long time. I remember laughing my ass off at this movie, so when I saw that it was only $2, uh, I picked it up right away. I also forgot to mention, guys, every movie that I got was $1.99, so perfect deal for VHS tapes like this. Next up, we got Home Alone, which I basically just got just for the hell of it. I'm honestly not a fan of this movie anymore. I used to love it a lot back then, but after it started playing every single year, I got kind of sick of it, so I kind of just got it for the hell of it just to add it to the collection. I personally liked Home Alone 2 a lot better, so maybe somewhere in the future I'll actually get that version, but this one's not bad. I just got it to kind of add to the collection, because but I'm kind of bored of it, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's put that to the side. Speaking of Indiana Jones, like we were talking about before, uh, I got The Last Crusade. This one was also $2, like I said. Um, I really feel like I should have gotten the other ones. I have them all on DVD because my family got them a long time ago, but I figured since this was there, I might as well just pick it up and watch it whenever I can. I do have an HDCRT in there with a VCR slash DVD player, so definitely going to be putting that to use once again. The last time I watched a VHS movie was when I got A New Hope at a different thrift store, so... Lastly, we got a Jim Carrey movie. Uh, this one is called Mask. So I find Jim Carrey movies really funny. I think he's a hilarious actor. So 
Uh, whenever I see something like this, it makes me want to watch it. And considering I have seen certain YouTube clips of this, I thought it looked pretty funny. I never bothered getting the movie, but since I saw it at Goodwill, basically the same thing for all this, I figured I'd pick it up since it was so cheap just to add to my collection and actually watch it all the way through for the first time. So that's all the movies, guys. Uh, I'm actually just going to add one little thing to this list right here considering that I didn't get enough music things to kind of make a whole list for it. I only got one thing, and that was... And Eric Clapton CV, CD uh, called Crossroads, that's the album. I'm a guitarist, he gives me inspiration to play guitar, he's a great guitarist, I mean, I don't need to say that, I mean, all you guys probably know if you're into this kind of music, but um, I wish I could have gotten this on vinyl instead. Unfortunately, most of, the, uh, most of the vinyl stuff that they had there wasn't stuff that I was into, so I didn't get anything like that. Most of the time when I f go to places, I do find at least one or two things that I like, but unfortunately, while we were there, I could not find a um, vinyl thing that I liked. So I just simply got a CD to add to my CD collection. So that's all that guys. Let's look at some of the tech stuff that I got. The first thing that I got in the tech category has to be this keyboard that I really just got for the time being that I was using temporarily. Basically while we were uh, on vacation, me and my girlfriend, uh, I forgot to bring my hard drive with me to play most of my games that I needed on my laptop. We didn't have an internet connection at the place and my hotspot was just not working for some reason so I couldn't download any games on the laptop. But I had PCSX2 and Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe but with nothing to play other than the laptop keyboard which my laptop keyboard is complete garbage so it wasn't a fun experience on there. So while I was at the Goodwill I figured I'd just pick up a temporary keyboard. This was only uh, $3.99, so I figured, you know what, I'll just use this to mess around with Guitar Hero for some time since I don't have any other games, and I feel like I'm actually going to mess around with this keyboard a little bit uh, to play it. I know, you know, you can uh, use your Guitar Hero controller and all that on Guitar Hero, that's what it's meant for, but I've been having a lot of fun playing the game on keyboard. There's actually a pretty decent-sized keyboard community in the Guitar Hero scene, so I've been practicing a lot on that, and I figured I'd just get this just to mess around. This is by no means my main keyboard, but my girlfriend used to have this one. I've seen this one before. It's a funny looking keyboard. I rearranged the keys to say 69 and 420 because I'm immature as fuck. But um, basically, I'm pretty happy to have gotten this thing because I actually had a lot of fun with it when I was playing Guitar Hero 2. So uh, that was the first thing that I got. Let's look at some extra stuff. The rest of the stuff really is just cables and all that stuff because as a retro game collector, uh, I need as much cables as I can get, especially when I'm getting a lot of products now that don't come with the cables where I need to have them myself. So I got a ton of coax cables for $2 each. So I got this 15 foot coax cable. Uh, I got, I think this is like a six foot coax cable. Um, I got this uh, splitter. This is made by RCA. This is one of those uh, composite splitters. I need these as much as I can get because, you know, I have capture cards, like older capture cards that need the splitters, and that's just something perfect for me to have. I got a, another coax cable right here. This one is probably like six feet as well. Maybe even less. I think this might be a three foot one. And uh, lastly, I got one that I was surprised to find. I got an HDMI cable, and I didn't even see what kind of HDMI cable this one was. This simply just says uh, high-speed HDMI. I'm assuming this is either a 2.0 or a 1.4 HDMI cable. Haven't tested it out. Probably won't for a little while. I'll probably end up using this one on my Ouya, but I need as much HDMI cables as I can get because most of the time the stuff that I get don't come with the cables. So it's always good for me to have something extra, especially when I'm getting a lot of splitters nowadays too. So uh, a lot of the stuff that I've been sent by that company, Koopman, they haven't been providing me with HDMI cables, so I always need to use one on my own. So glad I got this one, but yeah, that's everything that I got from Goodwill, guys. I feel like I got a decent amount of pickups from not only just video games, but some stuff I need for my game setup, uh, some new VHS things to add to my collection, and another great CD from a great artist, uh, a great album. So yeah, guys, uh, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all in the next one.